on 23rd of January 1997, around 6 p.m., we attained Mahasmadhi, the goal of every spiritual seeker, referred to as Mahaparinirvana by Buddha, a practice where accomplished yogis, with mastery over their life process, consciously choose to exit their body, at a time of their choice, without injuring the body. History is replete with yogis, who have always announced their date of exit, well in advance. He had said long before, years before, he had said, when I go, it will be talking of my America and my India. And he had also said, I want to die with my boots on. He told us he was ready to leave his body, he'd finished his work. Physical body, if it has to hold it, it needs a certain level of vibrance, otherwise it cannot hold it. So if it drops because of feebleness, we say he died out of old age. Very few people are dying out of old age. They're breaking something in their body before the old age comes. Yes? You die of heart attack, you die of this or that. This means you broke something in your body. When people die of old age, they die in a certain way. They slowly, it's a slowly ebbing down because the vibrance is gone in life. This is old age and death. Another way is, you pushed your energies beyond a certain intensity. Beyond that also the body cannot, physical cannot hold it, so it leaves. So when people consciously raise the pitch of their energies and leave the body, we call it Jiva Samadhi or Maha Samadhi, it's conscious. He fixes a time and date and at that particular moment he works towards it and he leaves. Viji started informing the yoga center residents about her Mahasmadhi nine months ahead of time. As her sadhana intensified, from December 1996, she started serving food with her own hands to commemorate her final days leading to Mahasmadhi. On 21st January 1997, Viji informed her daughter, Radhe, that she won't be around after some time. 23rd January morning, Viji handed over Sadhguru's diary to resident Sumalata and asked her to note Sadhguru's appointments going forward. 23rd January 5.45 pm, several people, including Sadhguru and Viji, sat for meditation in the shrine. Around 6 p.m., Viji dissolved into the meditation and left her body in the presence of many people. Shambho, 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 finished. It was just before that she went out about 6, 11, 6, 12, that's the time. About 6 o'clock she went out, she wanted a rose flower. So she asked one of the brahmacharis to get a rose flower, they ran to the Vanaprastha ashram, got the rose flower and came. She held the rose flower in her hand, shambho, shambho, shambho. Just seven, eight minutes, it was over. Dr. Kalai Selvan, a witness to the Mahasmadhi, having 15 years of medical experience, examined Viji and issued a signed certificate stating no foul play was found. Viji's father was informed the cremation would take place the next day at 6 a.m., 12 hours after Mahasmadhi. But her father did not make it to the cremation in time even though Viji's daughter, Radhe, arrived from her hostel. 
over 2000 people attended the cremation Viji's father sent a letter to Sadhguru on 30th January where he did not express any suspicion over the death of Viji months post mahasmadhi 12th of august 1997 viji's father pressed charges suspecting viji's death no parent would wait for 6 months a clear indication of vested groups instigating him viji's father never expressed any suspicion in letters exchanged in the past 6 months with sadguru Isha Yoga Center immediately welcomed a full investigation. The police examined 45 eyewitnesses of the Mahasmadhi, all the inmates of Isha Yoga Center and Sadguru and recorded their statements. All the witness stated Sadguru and Viji were very close and lived a normal and happy life including the day she left. They also stated there was no significant change in the attitude or behavior of VJ nor any abnormal health symptoms prior to her mahasmadhi she even prepared sweets with residents till 5 pm on 23rd bones and ashes of VJ were sent to forensic science laboratory where nothing suspicious was detected who knows a mother better than her daughter radhe If she harbored any misgiving, she would have exposed long back. Contrary, she is absolutely supportive of Sadguru. None of the allegations were proved, and investigations revealed nothing suspicious. Case was closed in 1997. Nothing much to say. This third day's trip is. Yeah, I certainly experienced tremendous energy, and I can say I've taken one or two steps towards my growth. And certainly, it helped me. It does help me to be a little more mature person, and I consider myself very lucky to. I really hope that I carry and be of some useful to everyone. that whole day i was with her uh, meditating and doing several other activities she had known this coming it's like her maha samadhi is just a promise to me so if you really that's what you want it's a possibility like if you're so intensely seeking something as an ultimate you can attain it but definitely vijay's maha samadhi was a tremendous blow to my logical way of looking at life mari yaar me paakla பட் வித்தின் அவ்வளோ தீர்வாக இருந்திருக்காங்க தீவிரமாக இருக்காங்க தெர் இஸ் நோ கான்ட்ரவர்சி இட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் அ ஃபியூ டேப்லாய்ட்ஸ் பிக்ட் இட் அப் அண்ட் இட் சம் ரபிஷ் பிக் வி நோ வாய் தட் இட் இட் நாவ் அண்ட் அ ஃபியூ பிளாகர்ஸ் ஹூ ஹவ் நத்திங் எல்ஸ் டு டூ த கீப் டூயிங் இட் அப்சல்யூட்லி நோ கான்ட்ரவர்சி பிகாஸ் இட் ஹேப்பன் இன் த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஹவ் நத்திங் எல்ஸ் டு டூ த கீப் காமெண்டிங் அபவுட் இட் she was like my shadow for 12 years she lived she lived as a part of my life in everything that i did and uh, this is a nation where there have been thousands of incidents where people have left their body consciously it is the peak of yoga in many ways so she announced 
that she will leave almost nine months ahead of that time. And she even prepared my daughter who was only seven years of age. And many ways I tried to, because those twelve years we were traveling and traveling all the time together. So this was the time when we're just kind of beginning to settle down. I said, just now we're settling down, why now? So she said, right now everything within me and outside of me is perfect. This is the time I want to attain to this. And she started working towards it. I never thought she will make it so quickly. This is something everybody is working towards, that you must be able to conduct the most profound aspects of your life consciously that includes your birth and your death. So that is not a simple factor, which unfortunately that profoundness in the society is gone. So all kinds of, <laughs> you know, people who have nothing else to do, they're commenting about it. There's absolutely no controversy, they're just commenting without any basis. If uh, anything like that was there, you think all these young people would be around me, supporting and making things happen? Is it true that you gathered this body slowly over a period of time? <coughs> mm. Yes? Mm. You gathered it. Some people gather this body consciously, lot of people gather it unconsciously. If you had gathered it consciously, it would also be possible for you to drop it consciously. If you gathered it unconsciously and lived unconsciously, such a thing would look like an impossible thing for you. But if you gathered it consciously and you conducted it consciously, you could also keep it aside consciously. So, this is a very essence of the yogic process. So, what do you think? It's suicide? That's what you will be accused of. If you can't accuse someone of suicide, then you will say it must be murder, okay? So this is just very silly ways of understanding, you know. Profound aspects of life being looked at by very gross people, very cross explanations for very profound nature of human existence here. Can I choose to do this? If you work for it, not going to come easy, but if you work for it, yes, every human being can. Can I live consciously? That's a question you're asking. Mm. Can you live consciously if you work upon it? Yes? Mm. If you live consciously, is death also an inevitable part of your life? Shedding this body also is an inevitable part of your life or no? Mm. Yes or no? Yes. If I can eat consciously, if I can sit consciously, if I can breathe consciously, if I can sleep consciously, is it also possible that I can keep my body aside consciously? Does it look like a possibility for you? Why then do so many people suffer with terminal illnesses and diseases? If, if, if you're saying that you can work towards making these conscious decisions, then why do we have the other instance? When people linger and linger and linger and are not able to make that break, so when people are suffering something, if you tell them the truth, they won't be able to digest it. Let's not talk about that. What I would say is, is it true with you right now as mm -hmm. you sit here, mm -hmm. that this body that you have gathered happened to you over a period of time? It is a accumulation. What you call as my body is just a piece of this planet. Whether you like it or not, one day you have to pay back. It's a loan from the planet, isn't it? Mm. So you've taken credit from Mother Earth. When the time to come back, you can either give back willingly or you can give back crying. Mm. You took loan from this planet. If you made something else out of it, when the time to give comes, you will give it consciously and joyfully and go. If you made nothing out of it, you'll die miserably and you think that is normal. That is not normal. Mm. Just because you didn't make it, you think nobody can make it. This is the crown of ignorance. When people think, whatever I do not know cannot exist, this is the crown of ignorance. So all this controversy is because lot of people are wearing this crown of ignorance. Oh, I will definitely tell you when I'm leaving, but don't be in such a hurry <laughs> I know it may be a great filming opportunity for you, but still people want me around, so... <laughs> I'll... when I decide, I'll let you know I have not made up my mind. Approximately I have, but not absolutely. When I make up my mind, 
I won't disappoint you. I leave on that day. I won't stay for an extra day.